time. Here's O. Henry's famous Robin Hood of the Old West, the Cisco Kid. yourselves up as the law, the judge and jury. But you're nothing but skulking rats, fattening on framed evidence, hiding behind masks, because you're afraid to reveal your faces. Do with me as you will. But as God is my judge, all of you will pay for your crimes. Are you finished? I've had my say. John Holden, the vigilantes found you guilty and ran you out of town. You were warned what would happen if you returned. You chose to ignore the warning. We'll draw as usual to see who gets to shoot him. Short straw wins. Looks like I've been elected. Blasted coyotes call themselves vigilantes. Nothing but a pack of killers. Better be careful, Tom. You know the old saying, even the walls have ears. All right, then, if they are, then let them be listening. They haven't picked on us ranchers yet, but you mark my words. If and when they do, we're just going to clean them out. That won't be easy. Nobody knows who they are. Uh, a mask never stopped the bullet jet. The trouble with you town folks is that you just ain't got no gumption. John Holden is the ninth man that's been killed or run out of here, and what are you doing about it? You ain't doing nothing. Well, there's nothing we can do about it, Tom. John Holden came back with the idea of organizing the town folks. Look what happened to him. Why, none of us dare talk out for fear that even our best friend may be one of them. Yes. I would... Hey, what in tarnation is he doing here? <laughs> Say, he's a cute little fellow, ain't he? Yeah, he sure Thank is. Thank you, Dad. Uh, he's no monkey. Hey. Oh, his business. Oh. Oh, 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 hey, there you are, eh? What are you doing in the barber shop, eh? What are you doing in the barber shop? Huh? Huh? Yeah, you see? He say he want to learn how to be a regular barber, eh? <laughs> Senor Salvatore is now going to play for you a beautiful uh, audience. Wait. But I'm in no mood for music. Well, that's all right. Then I, I, I'm I going to get a shave. Come on, come on. Eh? Why, yeah. Come on, Yoko. You sit down there, Yoko. And you went there. That's a good boy. Yeah, that's a good boy. You went there right there, eh? And you keep your ears open and your eyes wide closed so you can see. And then you're going to learn how to be a regular barber, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, just a uh, once over once, eh? And a little heavy on the lighter side because of my whisk, she grew pretty close up to my face. <laughs> As you say. <laughs> That's what I say. Yeah. Oh, ooh. <laughs> That's pretty hot, don't you? <laughs> That's better. <laughs> just like ice cream. <laughs> Just like the artist. Ah, ah, hey, what, what's, the, what's the matter, Jocko? What's the matter? One letter, and you think you can cut up on my face like a regular barber, eh? And besides, who, who told you that you can use my face and practice and make it a playground for your monkey business, eh? Huh? Look, here, now, wipe up your face and blow up your nose. Sit back in the chair, I'm not finished yet. Oh, maybe some other time when a Jocko isn't looking, eh? Here, Signore. Thank you. Goodbye, 
right, boss. Well, my dear, this is Buffalo Flats. How do you like it? Like it? Are you kidding, Tex? I wouldn't be caught dead in a dump like this. This place gives me the creeps. Come on, let's go. But, my darling, you are forgetting. We have an investment here. You know, for a smart promoter, Tex, sometimes you're pretty dumb. No wonder John Holden's daughter sold you his place here. It sounds like a morgue. Oh, it's not as bad as that. Come on, let's look the place over. All right, but I'm telling you, I wouldn't like it. So what? So what? Tex, you're a swell guy and we've had a lot of fun together, but when the vigilantes step in, this baby steps out. I bruise too easy. Just a minute, Bun. I wouldn't go in there if I were you. Why not? I own the place. That's all I heard. But I don't think the vigilantes would like the idea of the store being opened up again. Really? And I suppose you're one of them, eh? I'm just a fella giving you some good advice. Thanks. But I'm just a fellow who is not taking it. Looking for trouble, eh? Not if I can possibly avoid it. Never drop the sample, mister. Turn it on. Hey, Pike needs help. <laughs> uh, uh, excuse me, please. The leg of my organ should swing around like this. Excuse me, senor. What's the accident? You see the leg of my organ, she go like that. <laughs> you see, Jocko? Accidents will happen in the worst of the families. <laughs> Your friends, I don't like vigilantes. Hey, Jago, that was a good fight, eh? I guess you and me could have whipped them all. I thought you were leaving. Girl has the right to change her mind, hasn't she? <laughs> That's what I call a good simple play. Eh? Give me time. Sometimes it gets that remote. Eh? <laughs> He's a nice little monkey, eh? <laughs> Sometimes he plays those same. Well, my dear, the place has definite possibilities. Howdy, stranger. Howdy. I'm Jed Haskell, the barber. What was all the trouble about? There was no trouble. As I was saying, the Oh, place... I still don't like it, Tex. There's no excitement running a store. Now, if you were to change it into a gambling house... A gambling house? But, darling, I know nothing about gambling. You don't have to. Just leave everything to me. And in six months, you'll have the swellest little place in the West. Oh, come on, Tex. What do you say? Well, all right. If you think so, we'll try it. <laughs> you won't regret it, Tex. I hope not. Now we'll see what kind of accommodations we can get at the hotel. Eh? <sighs> No, I don't want no shave today. This will do. Thank you very much. That was some fancy shooting you did, Lois. I didn't think you could handle a gun that well. It was an accident. I meant to shoot over his head. <laughs> oh, but now they'll be after you, Cisco. You won't be able to snoop around like you planned. Oh, it will be all right. I didn't think we'd tangle up with them so soon. But... Stay here. Be careful. Oh, 
Pancho, just a minute. Jocko, say hello to the senorita. Hello, Jocko. <laughs> Have you found out anything yet, Pancho? Oh, plenty, senorita. People are afraid to talk. But I think that man you fight with, Cisco, his name is Pike, and he's one of the vigilantes. What do you suppose they're up to, Cisco? I don't know, Lois. But it looks like they're trying to take over the town. But why, Cisco? We'll know that, Pancho, when we find out who the vigilantes are. Where are our horses, our clothes, and our guns? I got them hide out, Cisco. I'll show you tonight. You can go now, Pancho. Meanwhile, get me the name of everybody that's friendly with Pike. Well, I can't. Huh? Oh, you want to stay with the senorita, eh? All right. Now, you be a good little monkey boy. Well, I think I'll pay a visit to the local barber. You know, barbers are the very finest source of information. Oh, be careful, Cisco. I will. But, Lois, you stay here until I return. It wouldn't do for them to find out that you're John Holden's daughter. All right. What'll it be? Shave, haircut, or conversation? Conversation. I'm not one for giving advice, mister. But if I were you, I'd forget about opening that gambling house in town. Why? Because of the vigilantes? If you don't mind, mister, I'd rather not talk about them. The walls have ears, you know. There's been some mighty strange things happening around here. Turn around, both of you. Put your hands up. Come out here with me. What do you want with me? I haven't done anything. I'm just a poor barber. Shut up. So you don't like vigilantes, eh? No, I don't. Neither masked or unmasked. Get on over there. You haven't heard anything or seen anything. Remember that and you'll stay alive. I won't talk. I won't say a word to anyone. I promise. Take him on out. You won't be happy in a little while, mister. Give me the lead line. Red, you stay behind and see we're not followed. I want you to see what happens to strangers who are curious. Tie them up. Wait a minute, that's my job. Have you anything to say before you die? Plenty. But I suppose it wouldn't do any good. 
You suppose right. It wouldn't. We'll draw as usual. You win. Get busy. What's the matter? Well, I never did shoot a man with a lot of people looking on. Leave him alone with me. Come on, get on with it or I'll do it myself. What's the matter now? My gun is stuck. Hurry up, we haven't got all day. I'm teaching not to fool around with the vigilantes. When I shoot, they got you dead. Come on, get busy. I'll take him out and bury him. A couple of you give him a hand. Pancho will do it. Get your hands up quick. Hurry up or you'll get a bullet through your head. What's the big idea? There's a ringer among us. Unmask him and get his gun. It's the Italian organ grinder. Grab him. Don't let him get away. Watch the tunnel door. Light the other lamp. They slipped out through the tunnel. Come on, we'll get him. Hold it. They're liable to pick you off at the other end. What do we do? Joe, the dynamite in the tunnel. Set it off. The rest of you keep an eye on the hotel. Hey, Cisco, they blow up this end of the tunnel, which means there is another way out of that cellar, Pancho. Yeah, but with this end all closed up, how are we going to find it? Look around. That place is in the very outskirts of the town. Yeah, you are right, Cisco. I didn't notice that when I was following you and them, but why they ride away with you then circle around back here? For the same reason they blindfolded me, Pancho, to make me think that that cellar was a cave far out of town. But I know exactly where the place is. You do? Yes. That tunnel leads from here right straight through to that building in the outskirts of the town, and the cellar is right under it. You mean that, Cisco? Of course, Pancho. Yeah, what are we waiting for? Just wait. We will. But after we change our clothes. Come on. Morning, gents. Shave, hair, cut, or conversation? A little conversation in your back room. But, gentlemen, we can talk right here. I said in your back room and quickly. Well, if you insist on it. Know me? Why? Why, you're the stranger those vigilantes grabbed. No, senor. He is the Cisco kid, and I am Pancho. Cisco kid? Pancho? Well, bless my soul. How did you get away from those vigilantes? You should know. You were in the cellar, Mr. Haskell. I? Cellar? I don't understand what you mean. No, then Pancho will tell you. You are that no-good killer, the leader of that gang of crooks who call themselves the vigilantes. Why? Why, that's ridiculous. Ridiculous? Pancho, look for the hidden stairway. Just a minute, mister. Shut up! Yes, Cisco. Look, Cisco. What's that, Pancho? I don't know, Cisco. You look it. Well, well. An engineer's blueprint of Buffalo Flats. That's very interesting. Thank you, Pancho. Now see if you can find that hidden stairway. Go on, mister. You go first. Clout 
Hey, Pancho, get me his gun over there. Hmm? You're due for a hanging, my friend. Maybe. If you can prove that the gun is mine. That will not be very difficult after we round up your men. Why they do all that, Cisco? Our friend over here knew that the railroad was coming through Buffalo Flats. Naturally, the prices of the land will boost sky high. He wanted to take over the whole town. How do you know that? It's all there in that engineer's map you found. Reach and make it quick. Hunter, you stay with his men here. Here's the knife. Diablo been good friends, then? Well, that's a good boy. Yeah. That's one for you, loco, huh? And one for you, Jaco. Come on, come on, now eat, Jaco. Come on, eat, eat. No. Now you can. No, you know what? That's more for me. Huh? Here, Jaco. Here's a little bit of thing, huh? Here, take here. <laughs> oh, look, we got visitor people, eh? <laughs> well, Pancho, let's be on our way. <laughs> bueno. Now, Jaco, the senorita will see you get back to your owners. And just because I know you'll be a good boy, here's a present for you. Huh? <laughs> oh, what's the matter, Pancho? I think a job will give me a present. Oh, Pancho! Oh, Cisco! Oh, <laughs> oh. Goodbye, amigos! See you soon! 